Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a crucial concept in cardiovascular physiology, arterial elastance, and how we can understand it through the left ventricular pressure volume loop. We've been talking a lot about pressure volume loops, but we haven't talked about this formula, change in pressure equals flow multiplied by resistance, which is the Ohm's law. You might be wondering, what's the relationship between the two? Stick with me, and you'll see that it's pretty amazing. So as you see here, delta P stands for the change in pressure between arterial and venous sides of the vascular system, Q is blood flow, and R is resistance. Let's break it down. Change in pressure in the vascular system is the arterial pressure minus venous pressure. Q is the flow of blood or the cardiac output, which equals stroke volume, defined as the amount of blood ejected per beat, times the heart rate, which is beats per minute, and then this is all multiplied by the vascular resistance. Now assuming that venous pressure is very low and arterial pressure is equal to end systolic pressure, we can omit the venous pressure on the left side and simplify the equation into end systolic pressure equals stroke volume multiplied by the heart rate and resistance. Now let's divide the two sides of the formula by stroke volume, then the formula becomes end systolic pressure divided by stroke volume equals heart rate multiplied by the resistance. Well, pressure over volume is elastance, then the final formula will become arterial elastance equals heart rate multiplied by the resistance, and that means that arterial elastance is determined by heart rate and resistance. Arterial elastance is a measure of the arterial system's ability to withstand and respond to changes in heart rate, blood pressure, and flow during systole. The higher the heart rate or the resistance, the higher the elastance. Now let's go back to the pressure volume loop and see how it relates to this equation. Here is a typical left ventricular pressure volume loop with volume on the x-axis and pressure on the y-axis. The loop progresses through four main phases, isovolumetric contraction, ejection phase, isovolumetric relaxation, and filling phase. Now we just defined arterial elastance as the end systolic pressure divided by the stroke volume. So, this is the point of end systolic pressure. Okay, great. Then, we know that the stroke volume is the difference between end diastolic volume and end systolic volume, right? Thus, to find arterial elastance, we use the slope from the end systolic point to the end diastolic volume. As simple as that. To recap, arterial elastance is a measure of afterload, and it can be calculated from the PV loop using the slope from the end systolic point. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave your questions and comments below, and we'll see you in the next video.